Hello guys, welcome back to my channel on today's episode on how to be a baddie with a fatty. This is me straight out of bed. I try to do cute little just woke up in the mornings and I'm like, oh no baby. That needs to stay in the drafts because I just be, my body just takes a while, especially my face to like defrost. But yeah, we are up now. Let's get my everyday morning drink going. Pick up the house because it is a disaster, especially the playroom and just get the vibes going because today, fun fact, is Friday. So like always my morning greens, which I just got a new one because I'm about to finish this one. It's, it's actually the second tub that I finished. So I have been extremely consistent with them, I was myself like not drinking greens again, and also my creatine every single morning. Now let's get to picking up. Also, this damn rash that I keep bringing up. I feel like the need to mention it in case you have not heard me say it before, but yeah, it's gotten better. That's that girl. So, disregard. And now to the fun part of the house and the playroom. Now let's get ready for the gym. Even though I gym here at my house, I always like to sleek my hair just because I like to feel good, put together. Ready to start my day. So I'm gonna pick a gym fit, all that, and then BRB. Oh, but can we talk about this right here? I just noticed my mirror is all dirty. I have a ring light and in the back, I put those little sticky gummy things to stick the ring light here, which was great. It's actually right here. Very woke. I have these sticky things literally in like all of my ring lights now. Well, the ones that allow me to put it on because some of my ring lights have like the battery, so I can't. But this one specifically, I put two right here and then I just stick it and there you have it. How woke is that, ladies? Okay, let's change. Okay, gym fit ready. Our signature shorts in the four inch. I forgot, almost forgot how much I love our signature four inch shorts because I've been living in our basics collection. And then the bra is from our basics collection, our adjustable bra. This is definitely my go-to for the gym. I noticed it's like definitely the one that I always go for if you don't have this bra. Highly recommend if you're wondering like what's one thing I need less like for the gym, high support. This bra, I'm wearing it in a size medium and the shorts in a size small. But yeah, I feel so bloated guys i'm gonna start my period in a couple of days and i'm just like ah, i hate like this time of the month which i was telling you guys about it on instagram i started tracking my cycle which i tell you guys that i used to never do because i have the iud and i'm like as long as i'm not getting pregnant like who cares <laughs> when or when i don't get my period but now i know it goes way deeper than that so i started tracking everything from how i'm feeling to just so i can connect how i'm feeling to like where i'm in in my cycle and then also for the gym which you guys would ask me like let's do you feel different do you go do you still work out when you're on your days? And I would be like, what? Like to me, it's like the same throughout the whole month. But because I was not tracking anything, I had no idea of anything, which I know as a woman, it's almost embarrassing to say, right? <laughs> but I was like, cool, now I'm getting pregnant. Don't need to know all that. But yeah, guys, I started tracking it with the flow up because I was just like in a funk once a month, me not connecting the dots that it's because of my cycle. Until Crystal told me like, are you going to start your period? Like, I feel like the last two times that you've told me you're like in a funk, it's because you're about to start. And I was like, oh my God, like, so yeah, it's very nice to know because right now I know I'm bloated because I'm about to start. I know I was like feeling sluggish because I'm about to start and all of that. And I like to have these women talks with you guys because 95% of my following and viewers are girls and women out there. But yeah, the beauty about being a woman. Anyways, it is leg day. Let's get into the gym and then BRB. I am beat. 
Y'all, I always feel so much better after the gym. It's like my therapy, helps me clear my thoughts and I'm just like in such a better state. Especially with what I was telling you guys, just me feeling like I was in a funk. Getting in the gym, getting stuff done, it just makes me feel so much better. I use the gym as my therapy and my me time to take care of myself. Putting yourself first goes a long way. The dishes, the homework, the chores, the kids will always be there. So giving yourself 30 minutes, an hour of your day to prioritize yourself literally will make the biggest difference. You will be a better friend, a better partner, a better mom, and girl, you deserve it. It helps with my mental health so much, which I feel like is something that's not really talked about, but all of us can relate, and your mental health, which is you, should always come first. Therapy really goes a long way, whether it's at the gym or speaking to an actual therapist. A lot of the times, you don't want to talk to somebody close to you or a loved one, because you don't want to feel like a burden or bring them, drag them with you through whatever it is that you're going through, and that's why finding some kind of therapy is always a good choice. And that's why I'm very happy that this video is sponsored by BetterHelp. They help you connect with a licensed therapist that is trained to listen to you and also give you helpful and unbiased advice. First, you go to their site. You can use my link, betterhelp.com slash makeup. You answer a few questions and BetterHelp will match you with a professional that has years of experience helping people with the same struggles as yours. You can do it from your phone, computer, phone call, video chat, messaging, whatever it is that you're comfortable with. It is the easiest way to start talking to a therapist. You'll get matched with a therapist usually within 48 hours so you can get started fast. Let BetterHelp connect you with a therapist from the comfort of your home. Go to betterhelp.com slash makeup or choose less to make up when you sign up to receive a special discount on your first month. I will also leave the link down in the description and thank you BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. Okay guys, we came to have lunch at my parents' restaurant. I have been craving it so, so, so bad. But it is Friday, like I told you guys, and it is booming. My parents' restaurant, Gracias a Dios, is always so, so, so packed. And my brother and Lexi are joining us for lunch. And they said that it's, it's a party in there. It's kind of far from our house. Well, like 30 minutes. I know if you're like out in LA or something, that's nothing. <laughs> but to us, El Paso, that's just far. That's far. far. Hence why we rarely come to eat here at my parents. Oh. But oh, a parking spot just opened right there in the front. But I'm craving everything, guys. I'm gonna, I'll see what I get. I wanna get like tres, tres platos. I want. Oh, they're detailing the Tortimobile? The Tortimobile, which is my dad's van that he uses for, oh, right. to eat here. But we are here. What are you gonna get? I honestly don't know what I'm gonna get yet. Well, um, he, you had a, he had a shake. I had shake. a protein shake right after. The, so this is post gym. So like, yeah. I'm not starving, which is kind of good. When, uh, kind of bad. Because if not, you'll eat the whole menu. <laughs> yeah, because if I was really starving, then I'd probably go ham, like Leslie said, ordenando tres platos. But. That's me, guys. Um, I don't know, it might be tacos. Yeah, I was oh, holding yeah. off on eating breakfast after the gym because I was like, I, I want to eat it con mucha hambre after the gym when I'm like hella hungry and it was like this. So she about to go in, ladies. Okay, we are outside Tortilleria Cristal tour. We have Lexi. We're about to go in. Uh, wait, what did you hit? Leg today? We hit leg, so we're we're hungry, y'all. We're about to go in. <laughs> Damn, boy. Yes, sir. So, what are you going to do? Yes, you're going to Sí, y luego un caldo chico y luego, híjole, se me antoja de todo. Y luego dos tacos de barbacoa y uno de buche. Y luego, es que casi no me sacan un taco de cebrada nomás. Sí, por favor. Y último, una gordita de harina de, de verde. Que traigo hambre. Caldo de res, yummy. Oh, yeah. Okay, taste test. Guys, this is the main thing I wanted to come for the flautas. This is how I prep them. Híjole. Here we go, ladies. Gordita de, de harina, chile verde. Third plate, ladies, I don't come here after. ¿Van a querer, sí o no? And I can't live without un taquito de buche y uno de barbacoa. Cilantro, cilantrito. Cebolla. I'm only gonna prep two because, y'all, I'm already low key full. Y salsa roja. Ah, nene. Okay. Oh, y limón. Are y'all ladies ready? Cheers. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. This is what our table looks like right now. We have all the vibes. Ooh. 
Yo, I overdid it. I wanted to have everything because I'm telling you guys, que casi nunca voy, but that was so worth it. I worked there for, I think, almost six years, five or six years. I was going to college full time, and then obviously my parents worked with my school schedule, so it was perfect. I was a server. I also did like, um, yeah, like kitchen prep, like picaba la cebolla or picaba, picaba el cilantro, limpiaba el menudo, and just stuff like that. I don't think I was the absolute best server. Now that I think back, like I was just partying, trying to go to school, and trying to make some money. But yeah, good, good times. And my dad, he is so, so passionate about like his business and his restaurant. He is literally there Monday through Sunday. Trust me, girl, we have tried to like not make him work as much. But if you guys get to meet my dad, you guys will see how much he truly like loves his business and loves what he does yeah it gets packed in there though so go early and then they also close early since they open up so early at four in the morning but that was great i am literally sitting like this so full but now we're gonna go pick up the kid and then since it's friday we like to do something with them like like go somewhere with them but we're debating if to go to the park or go to like a trampoline park or something i miss my babies it is 1 p.m so about to go pick up the kiddos let's go pick up the kids what are you crazies doing uh oh mama uh oh, go, 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 go. I can go up, baby, if you want. Go, go, go. Where's mama, girl? Guinness, no tiene miedo? what you're able to do now show us we bro reach, so we built a pile of what are these called wood chips wood chips look at him a pro now oh that guy's wrong man yeah, what, he's got chocolate on his shirt Ponte tu bolsa. nice bro mommy's turn you're gonna break it you're gonna break it babe <laughs> And we're back home, went to go eat after that. And now I have a spray tan appointment. I'm so glad she reached out. I'm gonna leave her ad right here. She does house calls, so she's able to go to you and tan you. And I'm definitely gonna book her for like me and my friends prior to the wedding. But I really want to get a spray tan today because our shoot is in two days on Monday. And of course my dress is going to be white. So I feel like it's just gonna look so, so pretty. I haven't really spray tanned in a good minute because it was like winter, so I'll mostly cover it up. But in the summer, best believe, you guys have to hit up my girl because she does such a good job. And the fact that she also does um, house calls is very convenient because right now Alex is being father of the year showering the kids and I'm about to step out real quick. Uh, Mommy's going out to the club. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> Just kidding. BRB. We're back ladies. Well, it is the next day. I took a shower. I rinsed the tan an hour after she tans me, like an hour and a half, just to make sure it sits well. But I love how it came out. I can't show you guys because I have nothing on there, but I feel like it's gonna make all the difference with the dresses and for our shoot tomorrow, which, ah! the day is finally here oh my god i just feel like it's been so long because we got engaged two years ago now which is crazy guys but i was pregnant with kaeli i was six six seven or eight weeks somewhere around there but i was super early on in my pregnancy not showing nobody knew that i feel like that whole year of me being pregnant and like postpartum and all of that did not count hence why it just seems like dang it's been two years already but that's because miss kaeli girl was like you thought i'm here so it kind of like pushed the wedding completely to the side which is fine because God's plans and timing is perfect. I'm a strong believer of that. And my wedding was meant to happen the way and the time that it's about to happen now. But with that being said, today is Sunday. I'm kind of like getting the outfits and for sure deciding what the heck I'm going to wear tomorrow. But because I have been engaged for two years now, I have been buying white dresses that I would come across even though I didn't know what exactly I would need it for or what event or what situation. But I'm like, she a bride, she a fiance. So if I saw something white, I would buy it. And with that being said, <laughs> I have, I brought all my shoes. That way I know I can look at them and be like, okay, which one should I wear tomorrow? But I'm prepared. I just don't know which ones I should wear. But yeah, these are the wedding shoes and heels that I have bought in. But in the past years, because I knew this moment was going to come. Oh. 
which I'm so glad about because now I have the options. If not, I would have been like going crazy this past week trying to like order heels and figure out what to wear. Now I'm like, okay, she got options. It's just now <laughs> making the executive decision. Also, I do not have a petty. I did everything, my hair, my nails, my coochie. Just kidding, but I did not get a petty. But yeah, I'm gonna show you guys the dress options that I have. I think I have like four options. Dress option one, are you guys ready? We have this one right here, which right now guys, I'm either a size small or extra small for dresses. It's literally like a 50-50 gamble for me when I order dresses online. So I might be a small or I might be an extra small. And in this case, this one is a small and it fits me big. So I'm gonna return it for an extra small because I love it. I don't think it's giving engagement shoot. So if you thought about that first, zip it, lock it, put it in your pocket. <laughs> Just kidding, but yeah, this is definitely not too much engagement shoot, but me quedo grande. I love it. Just definitely not for tomorrow, right? Here we have option two. This one is also in a size small, and I'm literally debating so hard <laughs> if I should size down or not, because I feel like it fits me like a little baggy from here, but I like how the back looks. So, so it has like this flowy back right here, which I love it. I don't know if I would use it for the engagement shoot because I thought it was gonna be more White. I feel like on the camera it actually does look white, but in person it has like this yellow, very light yellow tone to it, which I feel like for my engagement shoot, I personally really want to wear a true white dress. Please ignore the bra straps, I just realized that. <laughs> We're gonna call this one dress number two. Should I size down on dress number two? Yes or no? Please comment down below because I got 30 days to exchange this. <laughs> Option number three. Here we go. This one is number three. It is one of my favorites. I just feel like it's a size small and I feel like an extra small would have just snatched me up. But I don't think it looks bad. Like I don't think it looks big. This one stretches a lot. It's like that one fabric that you're good to size down. I really like this one too. I might end up wearing this one actually. This one is number three. Number four, guys, I am in love with this one. I feel like this might be the winner or the one that I'm about to show you guys. This one's in an extra small and it's gonna be perfect. I'm like, damn it, I should have gotten the other one <laughs> in an extra small as well. But I really like it with the little flowers right here and then also right here. I feel like it gives it very much bride, ready to commit, ready to be serious, ready to be the woman my man needs me to be. Me living together with two kids already. But yeah, this one is definitely in my top two so far. Guys, woke up from her nap as well so she's just here judging me in the background <laughs> ¿Qué estás haciendo? Our friend Nicole sent us a whole bunch of goodies from Japan. So the kids, every time they come in my room, in my office, they go through this bag of just a whole bunch of candies out there. Shout out my girl Nicole, because the kids love this package. Okay, anyways, let's put on the other one. And then we have this fourth or fifth one. I lost track already. I think this is dress number five. I'm now debating if I want to do a dress short or a long short, but I think I'm leaning more towards a long dress, right? I never thought I'd make it this far. And the back, it kind of has like these strings. The strings have these dangling flowers, which I really like, that's super cute. But I think the other one is still winning as far as like my favorite. Still a great purchase, but not for the engagement shoot. Do we agree? Let me show you guys the last one. Okay, this one guys is my personal favorite, but back to me being extra small or small. I got this one in an extra small and I cannot get it to zip up. I think when somebody helps me, I might be able to zip it all the way up, but it is so tight. It fits me good everywhere just from here girl. <laughs> no me cierra. Can't believe I haven't shown you guys the back This is what I loved so much I think I should do two dresses because I really want to get like one shot with this one And then I really want to do like a tight longer dress I think I should do two dresses, but yeah, I almost don't even want to take this one off But let me show you guys the last dress option that I have and then we'll decide from there and this is the last one and definitely also one of my favorites. It probably made it to my top three favorites. So now I have three that I have to pick from. I also didn't try on the heels with any of them. So I have to decide which one I want to do. You guys are of course coming along. So you guys will get to see which dresses we ended up going with. Added veil for special effects. Okay, so in the next vlog, you guys will see the dresses that I went with and we had such a good engagement shoot, which we did vlog and it's the vlog coming after that. But we cannot close out this vlog without finally sharing with you guys the wedding. Ta-da! Drum roll effect, please. <laughs> The wedding date, I have been saying forever that I always wanted to like announce the wedding date six months prior to when it's gonna happen. For us to share the wedding date with you guys, our friends, our family, save the date, make it official and all of that. Dang, you guys can't really see that all. But yeah, we were talking about it and we're like, dang babe, like it's about to get real real because we are about to share with you guys our wedding date, our save the dates are going out. Like everything's just happening. So yeah, we're gonna start just soaking everything in. 
So without further ado, our official wedding date. I really have one, but our wedding date is, you say the month, I say the date. Okay. Is? September? Do you even know when our September. wedding is? September. I'm like wrong, I'm just kidding. September 27, which is exactly six months from now. Well, today's the what? The yeah, 25th. The 25th, so literally exactly six months from now, the wedding is happening and correct me if I'm wrong, brides, grooms out there, did it kind of just like happen so fast? Like, I know, how do you feel? I need to get a tux. So yeah, it's also time for me to start looking for a tux. Leslie yeah. has already been on the hunt for the dresses kind of since the year started and I haven't really like moved that way yet, but I think it's a lot easier for for a guy yeah. to get you know like a classic obviously black and white tux but i did talk to so you're gonna do black and white <laughs> or did. white and black something oh yeah yeah well that's the thing is like you can buy two coats but like basically the bottom is gonna be the same you yeah know, like, i'm gonna wear the same pants and the same shoes but the coat would change that's depending on yeah, which I haven't even asked you what color uh, tux you're gonna do on the I'm kind of waiting for you to tell me what I'm supposed to wear, but I <laughs> talked to Seb. He's literally just ready to show yeah. up to the wedding and be like, wanna marry me? Yeah. So I talked to Seb, I was like, yo, like, you know, where did you get your suit? And he kind of connected me with somebody, so. You have a good start. I have a good start, and ideally, like Seb said, you know, like, off of experience, it's probably just best to, like, start, like, three months prior to your wedding. Oh, so you Should good. be more than enough time. So right now, I kind of feel like I have, like, some time to, to waste, but. I should probably start, you know. Yeah, getting the ball rolling, which back to me saying six months, like back to like the tugs, uh, putting like our official final wedding list together and just little details that me and Alex kept pushing to the side and we're like, oh, like we'll wait, we'll wait. We're like, okay, this is the time mark that we gave ourselves. Fun fact, last week we for the most part like finalized our guest list. So we have that and then the tuxedo, you already kind of know where to start. So we have that. I said yes to the dress. Uh, we have our venue. So I feel like we're, we're pretty on top. Time. We're pretty on time with everything. I don't feel overwhelmed yet or any of that. I'm just feeling like, oh my god, it's getting real. A lot of excitement. And we also didn't want to, like, I guess, share too much too soon because then it's se nos iba a ser tan largo a nosotros and to you guys. But yeah, save the date, guys. Official save the date for you guys here on YouTube. And now to put together the actual save the date for our friends, our family. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Stay tuned for the next one, which was our engagement shoot, which I feel like it came out. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Like today we did. The engagement shoe, that's why I was a little angsty. I'm wearing, how I was gonna button up and Leslie's wearing her dress, but I obviously yeah, she just got back. today was really fun. Really good it, day. it was such a good turnout, guys. Um, it was smooth, it was easy, and it's just I don't know, like it's, just, it's like you've done this before, yeah. It's like you know, like when you love each other <laughs> like, yeah. and and you're both mutually like excited for, oh, for something, yeah. like it just makes it's like fun, you know, like you know, like the initial steps of, of this uh, new phase that's coming, this new chapter, so yeah. Exactly. It's like it's official, and it's from here, it's just gas no breaks like it's literally yeah. just gonna roll on and but yeah with all that being said thank you guys so much for watching this vlog save the date for our wedding and we'll see you guys on the next vlog which is our engagement shoot we brought you guys along to all of that but yeah we love you guys and i'll see you on the bye. next one bye